back to the nursery and um, I'm going to take a quick look at what's on the looking bud list um, this week. A few plants uh, selected here behind me for the van for next week. I'm going to start with a few bits that ended up back on the list. So we've got um, all this year's pensamins um, have just made it onto the list. So these are nice uh, full plants. So we've got the likes of Rich Ruby. We've got the nice fine leafed uh, version, which is Evelyn. Um, got a lovely um, color to the flower on that one. That's Evelyn. We've got some nice reds in uh, Garnet and in Schoenholzerei. So you can see they've also got good foliage on those as well. Um, and then there's some of the more unusual colors, such as uh, Pensamon Bodnant. Um, and you can see that's a lovely striking purple color um, to the flowers on those. Underneath them here, we've got um, some nice uh, gavinias available. So these are all the sweet series, and you can see that there's a lot of buds on the way up on these. So um, this particular one is Sweet Dreams, and you can just see that, um, like I said, plenty of buds, nice strong foliage. Um, and so there's loads of colors. There's pinks, uh, yellows, whites, reds. So just take a look at the list on those, and uh, they're, they're all looking exceptionally nice at the moment. <clears throat> Some nice Leucanthemums on the list as well. I know I've mentioned these other weeks, so we've got, uh, this is Leucanthemum Luna, and this is the, the full full double flowering, um, unusual sort of, uh, doesn't show the eye in the middle of it, so that's a very, very nice variety. We also have some nice Lamium, so we've got some gold nuggets, and you just see that nice striking color. Um, again, one of the more old fashioned plants, but again, uh, it's a nice one to have on the benches. Uh, some nice fuchsias on the list at the moment. So this is Genii. Uh, looking really really well at the moment and you can just see that nice yellowing on the on the foliage and just there's buds forming on the tips there at, at the moment and um, some nice gypsophila so um, baby's breath is always popular so we have both colors we've got pink festival and white festival you see nice strong foliage and uh, coming up for flower shoots at the moment so again uh, one to keep an eye on um, Agastasia, um, I like this one myself, it's very very good for bees and butterflies, so we've got Agastasia, this is Blue Boa, um, you can see the, the, the foliage and the flower there on that, a really really nice colour to bo black, uh, Blue Boa. Um, as we go along we've got some nice Campanula, um, the Glomerata Superba, so some of these are in flower, so um, get your order in early and we'll be able to uh, give you at least ones in flower and bud. We've got some ni a nice selection of the lilies. So we've got um, oranges, reds, pinks, yellows and whites and you can just see that they're all done with three bulbs and some nice uh, buds starting to form on those. Some of them have actually started, like the, the pink has um, already started to elongate and starting to colour. So you can just see that they're starting to mature, so they're at the point of opening uh, very, very soon. Also a nice selection of um, Argorantimums available, so we've got here at the moment I've got the, the pink and the red. Now these are on special for the week, so these are buy 20 get 10 free. So you'll see those on the uh, cover of the Looking Good list um, and the special is on that. So they're very, very nice plants at the moment. So do make use of that offer um, at, at the moment. So we've got some nice uh, Dianthus, so these again, nice and scented. Um, so we've got the likes of Rebecca, which is a really, really good red. And plenty of uh, flower buds coming, an exceptionally good size plant um, for the price on that one. Um, we've also got some, uh, still have some of the hydrangeas available. So we still have uh, the all three colors there. So we've got the, the blue, the red and the white in those. So take a look at the list on those. They're in a seven and a half liter pot. Some lovely, still a nice selection of heucheras, some of the unusual colors. So we've got some nice solar eclipse and we've got some nice black pearl to go with it. Um, so you can just see some really, really good contrast colors. We've also got some of the berry smoothie and the fire chief um, in the red spectrum. So you can see those there as well. So keep an eye on the list for what's there at the moment. I like, uh, personally like the green, which is Paris. I think it's a very, very good under, uh, it's very, very popular and actually has a good strong flower color, uh, which is unusual for the heucher. Um Centauria, I like Centauria personally, so that's got a really, really nice flower, very, very delicate. Um, and I also like the Catanancha, which is beside it. And uh, this has that lovely rustling to the flower heads um, before it opens, and that has that really delicate uh, kind of blue-purple uh, flower with the little yellow centers. So they're really, really nice. Um, along the bottom there with a few bits, we've got some nice Nepeta. So that is Six Hill Giant, back on the list again. Doesn't be on the list for long, so don't uh, don't miss out. Um, some nice Nemesia as well, just uh, starting to open 
starting to flower. So they're really, really good plants at the moment too. And um, there's a, a nice sea lavender there, which is the Limonium Salt Lake. And you see that it has started to flower and um, started to send up shoots. That has a really, really, it gets its name there from the spots that are on the, on the leaf, little dots um, that are on top of the foliage. That's where the salt comes from in the name. Um, Ulster Marias are on the list of, um, this week starting, so we've got Christina, Davina, um, we've got some nice little Miss Mirandas, you can just see the stage they're at, nice bushy foliage, um, just the flower buds are still a little bit down in the, in the stems, but again, very very popular and go very very quick, so don't miss out on those. Um, selection of lupins available and a selection of a stilbies, so we've got um, a stilby finale, which is the nice red one, just coming into flower. It's the right time to get it. The peach blossom here beside it. And you can just see that they're on the point of opening, so um, you don't lose out on flower time with them if you get them at the moment. Nice formium there. Um, doing a couple of varieties again um, after the last number of frosts and stuff that they're, we're starting to come back into fashion. So we've got bronze baby here, which is a really, really nice stri striking uh, bronze color foliage. So that's a nice one to keep an eye on. We also have some nice uh, hot lips, uh, salvia hot lips, always popular. So these are uh, starting to bud up now um, and will flower in the next week or so very, very quickly. Um, we also have uh, some nice nirenes. So this is uh, the pink one, Bodinii, and you can just see that some nice foliage, nice size bulb in those. So that's just um, nirene Bodinii. It's the most common of them all. Um, we've also got a nice selection of grasses at the minute. So we've got a nice penicetum here and a nice Juncus spiralis. So um, I quite like the corkscrew grass. Um, I think it's unusual. It gives that little bit of uh, difference in the garden. We've also got that nice um, penicetum. Uh, this one is Princess Caroline. You can see that nice purple color coming up through the foliage. And that's a um, really, really good variety as well. The usual suspects are there as well, Steepa Ponytails, which is always popular, and Steepa Aronimacea as well. So guys, thank you very much for taking the time to have a look at the list. Do um, take a look at it. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you again.